Hi everyone, thank you for joining. This is a resin piece we're doing here on this cross cutout. And I've already put a base layer of epoxy on and I'm just applying the mica. So the first color is Indian Ocean by Woody's Goodies. This color, I forget what it's called, but it's like a goldish cream. And I think this color here is a modified copper color that I lightened up and this is a gold color I already had. I don't remember where I got it from. This here is Pink Champagne by Woody's Goodies. Beautiful color. I also have um, one of those peachy colors is an alcohol ink. I think that was it. And I believe it's a coral alcohol ink. And that color is called Sunkissed Apricot. And now we're putting on Frosty Pearl, also both Woody's goodies. And uh, I believe this is Avalon Shell by Color Art. A little more sun-kissed apricot. It's a beautiful color. It's like the perfect like orangey gold. So now we're just filling in some spaces, popping some bubbles, um, making sure the surface is fully covered. And then we're going to hit it with a torch before we apply our embellishments. Um, or excuse me, a heat gun. Uh, the heat gun I will do my best to link below. It does have attachments, and I will be putting a narrow attachment on the bottom. And once we fill up our surface, we'll heat it up a little bit. Um, one of the biggest things with a heat gun, torch, any of that, is you don't want to just overheat your epoxy. You want to, you know, if you're popping bubbles, you want to move really quickly. If you're using a heat gun to move things around, you don't want to hold it in one place too long, you'll burn your epoxy. Plus, epoxy is self-leveling, so if you heat it up, give it a chance to kind of do its thing. So here I'm just kind of waiting a little bit before I heat it up and just covering my sides a little bit to get them to blend. And um, when we do our embellishments, I'm going to use glass stones that I colored myself with alcohol inks, and there's a video below on how to do that. They really turn out beautiful, and they're very inexpensive if you do them that way. And here with the heat gun, my goal is to blend a little, but not a lot, and just kind of create some natural waves, create a little bit of blending, but keep some of the unique color. I am also trying to push a little bit of that over the edge on purpose. Um, you can see we're not spending a lot of time in one spot and sometimes I tend to overwork things so I wanted to take a step back and take a look at it, wait a little bit. Obviously this video is significantly sped up. We do um, accept custom orders for this type of work so if you have a color in mind or a size that you're looking for uh, please send us a message and myself or my husband will get back with you um, they're really fun and we can pretty much do them in whatever color we have a red white and blue one coming up it's a smaller one we'll try to do that on video but I, I just love the colors these colors if you saw our Texas resin video these colors are pretty similar almost all the same to that one and once this dries after we put our embellishments on it we'll get one more flood coat before we put the backing on it so there are our uh, glass stones and I'm just gonna apply them where they seem to kind of follow a natural line. So here we're starting with the left side. And I prefer to do these without gloves because I feel like I have a better grip on them, um, but I also have dropped several of them. So if you get one in a spot that you don't really want it, you know, grab a toothpick or something and move it over 
run your torch over that epoxy. It's not too big of a deal. So by this time, my epoxy is starting to stiffen up again. I probably wouldn't apply the stones while the epoxy's more runny because it's self-leveling, and so your stones are going to move away from where you put them. And we strategically put them in a certain place where they blend and they look nice. I really like coloring the stones yourself with alcohol ink because you seem to get um, kind of a multi-dimensional depth in the color that you wouldn't get from like the opaque colored stones. And the color is more rich as well. I so appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. I, I would ask that you um, like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. Our social media links are also below. And coming up, you'll see a finished result and after the close-up. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this. I know it's sped up quite a bit for the sake of time, but you'll see the close-up shortly. There we go. It's honestly, I think it turned out really beautiful. All right, and this is the finished piece after one final flood coat of resin. You can see how pretty it is. Thank you again for watching.